Hi there, and welcome to this time of communion together. You will know that communion is something that usually we would share together, enjoy sharing together. A reminder that we've each been invited into God's family, to be one with him, to be one with each other. We may not be physically together today, but both of those statements remain true as we share in the bread and the wine. In order to be prepared for today, you simply need to have the wine or juice and the bread in front of you. And then we'll have the words of Jesus, supported by my prayers and some music. And that will guide us through. As we come together, let's take a moment just to prepare our hearts in silence. In John 6, 35, it says this. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. And whosoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Come to this table today, not because you must, but because you may. Not because you are strong, but because you are weak. Come not because of any goodness of your own that might give you a right to come, but because you need mercy and help. Come because you love the Lord a little and want to love him more. Come because he loved you and gave himself for you. Come and meet the risen Christ, for we are his body. Let us pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs> See you. 
of the institution of the Lord's Supper. And he says this in his letter to the church in Corinth. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it, in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Amen. As we reflect on the one who calls us to this table, join me in a prayer. Loving God, we praise and thank you for your love shown to us in Jesus Christ. We thank you for your life and ministry, announcing the good news of your kingdom and demonstrating its power in the lifting of the downtrodden and the healing of the sick and the loving of the loveless. We thank you for his sacrificial death upon the cross, for the redemption of the world, and for your raising him to life again as a foretaste of the glory we shall share. We give thanks for this bread and wine, symbols of this world and signs of your transforming love. Send us your Holy Spirit, we pray that we may be renewed into the likeness of Jesus Christ and formed into his body. This we pray in his name and for his sake. Amen. As instructed then by the words of Jesus, we take the bread. Jesus said, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in memory of me. We share the bread now in remembrance that Christ died for us. In the same way, Jesus took the cup after supper and said, this cup is the new covenant sealed by my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this 
in memory of me. As we drink the wine together, we do so remembering that Christ's blood was shed for each one of us. In him, we have the victory. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home, dying and living. He declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the spirit lights give light to the world. Father God, as we come before you today, we spend a moment just to think quietly and bring before you the situations that we know are difficult, the names of those that we know are suffering, as well as the names of those that we know need your guidance, Father God. We bring those names to you in the quiet now. Father God, make us a people who seek you above anything else, who seek to point towards you in all that we do and say. May we truly be your people. Father God. Amen.
It's been a privilege to share in this act of communion with you, reminding us that we are one with him and we are one with each other as part of his church family. Let us finish with the words of the grace, which if you want to, you can speak along with me. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.